All right, I'm kind of bored, so I thought, well, everyone's going buddy with quarantine and whatnot. I'll share with you guys what exactly is on my bookcase. Um, so this is my personal library, and it's mostly reference books. Uh, and it's mostly animal books. So, um, for every hobby, I mean, I like to be as informed as I possibly can. Uh, and the thirst for knowledge is never ending, so I am forever adding to this. Uh, so, I like to keep them organized by topic. So we've got uh, quite a few mouse books. Most of these will be ex-library books. Uh, and they will be veterinary manuals and laboratory manuals. Uh, some of these I've bought new. Most of them I've bought second hand because these are so expensive. Um, so, plenty of books on genetics across all all animals, uh, a few pet books, I've just rearranged some books uh, because I've been given a heap of bird books so I needed to find a way to fit them onto my bookshelf. Um, so some of these books have nostalgic value, like these aren't my original copies of these, but these are books I remember that we had as kids in the house. So. Um, not particularly factual, uh, and certainly very dated, but um, a nice little uh, bit of nostalgia to keep on to. Um, so we've got some field guides, wildlife, reptiles, reptiles, snakes at WA, Solomon Islands, dangerous stuff, butterflies, dragonflies, beetles, and then we've got uh, what I like to call my coffee table books, and these are just short little uh, funny books. Um, that are just sort of like waiting room kind of books. Um, and we got a book on sprouting, cocktails, so some, not many, but a couple of, uh, recipe books. Um, uh, first aid book that's going to be dated, a couple of GFH books. Um, some gardening stuff, there's another field guide hiding in there. Uh, and then this shelf is... Um, half and half reptiles and bird stuff. So uh, this is one I picked up recently. That was one of my grails. A couple of TFH ones. A couple of the Chimera Press ones. Um, most of the complete whatevers. So the Kappa Python, the Children's Pythons, the Grondo, the Wall Complete Grondo, the Ultimate Wall. I did have the the first one, the ulti uh, the complete wall, but. I gave that to a friend uh, because this one has absolutely everything in it. Um, some of the ABK ones, pythons in captivity, um, carpets. This one, which is one that is um, highly recommended by a lot of people. Whoop! Uh, then we got a microscope book, um, a couple of health and disease books. This one I highly recommend if you're serious about breeding. Uh, very detailed. Um, I dare say this would even be classified as a veterinary manual. Uh, the amount of information that's in that. A uh, little book on genetics. Um, one of my collecting goals for my books is to build up a assortment of field guides for birds from around the world. Um, haven't been doing too well with that. I've only got th three, well four, but two are two are for Britain. Um, and, uh, the UK, one for Australia, a really old South African one. I'd like to have more birdie field guides, but I'm sort of not really seeking them out. It's just what I find when I go op shopping and, uh, what people give me. A uh, bunch of TFH bird books. Uh, so TFH books are one that I'm trying to collect. Yeah, I almost uh, have a few of those across different topics. Um, and then another collecting goal I have is to get all of the ABK books. Um, but I have a rule for myself with these. I am not buying any of them new. So it's collect all of the ABK books, but only uh, if I can find them secondhand or, you know, buy them off of Gumtree. Um, Parrots, Codules, Pheasants, another TFH book, um, just some general like atlasy kind of things, 
And another book on genetics. I've got two really good books on reptile breeding. So here's one for um, just different eggs. And here's one for boas and pythons. And uh, this one goes into a lot of detail uh, about everything. This is the first edition, I think. Um, not super fast on collecting first editions, but I do have a couple here by, ooh, here by library, so. Um, this is another good one. It's missing its dust jacket, though. Um, yeah, just a couple sort of general reptile books. Everyone's favorite uh, publisher or author. Mr. Hose Opposer. Um, and then all of the Scales and Tales. I actually have the full set of um, all the issues that went to print. A um, little bit of a bragging point. A couple of these. I can't remember which issues exactly, but there's at least three issues that have my artwork printed in them. So that's an interesting tidbit for you. Um, bunch of Reptiles Australia magazines, not quite a full collection. Uh, I think I'm only missing about 10 magazines over the life of the magazine. And then down here we got Pokeballed stuff, boulders and guys. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. And, whoop, sorry about the darkness down here. We got some uh, miscellaneous sort of stuff. We got dinosaurs, we got extinct animals, we got. There's a book on kangaroos, that's pretty old, moths, butterflies, butterflies, more wildlife books, people on discus, uh, and then uh, down the bottom, and it's a bit dark down here, so these are art books, and mythology and stuff, so we got art book for the B-movie, um, this was one of the first kickstarters that I backed, it's a coffee table book. Um, about the Nightmare on Elm Street. Oof. And we're not going to go back in here, are we? Yeah, come out. Oof. Uh, oh, yeah, Flight of Dragons. Uh, Paper Tiger Book of Dragons. Ghouls and Monsters. Art stuff. Museum books. Um, oh, these are cool. These are some funky art books. Uh, Metamorphosis 1 and 2 and it's just a collection of weird art uh, one of the Frazada books Dolly and this is another Paper Tiger book and um, this one's cool it's got some freaky artwork in it Terry, Terry Burchett art book uh, and then we've got the whoop, let me come down here you can't see them because of so damn dark down here, but I've got the three dark horse Zelda books. We got um, Arts and Artifacts, the Hyrule Historia, and the Hyrule Encyclopedia, uh, and then a handful of game guides. So, Halo, Pokemon, Super Mario, all of that fun stuff. So, that is, <clears throat> that is my library. Um, so, yeah. And just hanging out on top here are some of my plush animals. So, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And uh, I'm keen to see what kind of books you guys collect. Let me know.